Hey guys, um, get to see my face today. Um, I don't really do this that often, so if you uh, catch me looking at myself in the camera um, instead of at the camera, then sorry about that. But I uh, wanted to answer uh, Paul's community question about uh, the hobby, I guess, and balancing the hobby and other hobbies. Um, I... I built, I mean, I've mentioned it before, I built, when I was a kid, I built in 4-H, um, and then after my senior year, I got my 10 years of 4-H, and uh, immediately started working uh, full-time and going to college full-time, and I basically didn't do anything for uh, for a good five years. Um, I ended up withdrawing from college because I was making enough money, I didn't think I needed it, which, whether that was smart or not who knows um but uh no regrets about any of that uh other than the job i was working i uh ended up basically working seven days a week so i had no hobbies i just worked every day and then uh, i got the job where i work now um with my ridiculously bright on the camera fluorescent yellow hoodie um and i got some set days and some set time off and <sighs> so um I started getting back into motorsports and going to races as a fan um that's always been a part of my life um from when I was I don't know three or four I think we went to Road America and watched uh IndyCars there met my aunt who lived in the Upper Peninsula Michigan we'd meet at Road America and um and then we uh, ran the, uh, you know, we'd we'd go to the tracks here, dirt tracks and um, the Indy 500 and um, just always went to races. So it's always been a love of mine. And then um, I think I built my first kit again after about 10 years without doing it in um, uh, 2017. I built a, a kit. A Ravel P47, and then I built the Ravel F350 Dually and that Ferrari F2001 I showed off, and um, it just grew from there, and I started to really get into the hobby, this hobby, deep, and then also around 2017, a buddy of mine and I split a drag car, basically. We had a 84 Camaro, 83 Camaro, I don't know. Um, it had a different nose on it anyways. It, uh, it looked like a, the original car had a, like a tri-slot Berlinetta. So maybe it was an 83. Um, but that, that went away and we put a, a later nose on it. And, um, but anyway, we, we were, doing that uh blew up the 355 that we started with uh we did just bracket racing nothing serious um and um so you know that's that interfered with my building a little bit which was fine because i love uh real motorsports too um and then we built a 415 and uh you know we won some rounds with it had some fun and then he got a different job and I got I guess busier I changed actually part of the problem was I changed from day shift to night shift um which actually made racing easier on the weekends but it really took away any time that I would have to work on the car um so that sort of ended up going by the wayside, and that was probably around 2018, which is when I got into, uh, I met some people online, actually, kind of like the modeling community. Um, just, there's sometimes there's some great people out there. And uh, I got hooked up and started helping people um, sprint car racing. This is our old dirt car. Uh, we want to race with this thing. It, I think it's like a 2005 we still have it at the shop, but uh, we, we run a newer car now. Um, so this was old when we raced it. 
Still fast though, still get the job done. The engine in it is uh, the same one we still have. It, it had plenty of power. But I started helping these guys out in 2018, running on dirt and pavement. Um, and I still help them now. This is my other hobby. Um, it's a lot of fun. And um, the guys we race against, a lot of them are professionals. Um, we all have jobs. So, uh, you know, it's hard to compete with the guys that do it for a living. But uh, we do our best. Um, here's a... Uh, Here's the uh, pavement car, the uh, red and black one, which is in a different livery now. Another of my buddies that I helped was driving this uh, black and yellow car. This is our biggest pavement race of the year. Um, it's uh, the little 500 at Anderson Speedway, 500 laps, live pit stops in a sprint car. It's wild. And uh, actually in 2021, we got the, um, the hard charger um we started 17th and ended up fourth led some laps i don't know probably 40 laps or so we led had a really good car had a bolt break at the end and it cost us some speed so i think i think it was more like a second place car not necessarily a winning car but uh you know it was it was a heck of a good run and um that meant a lot and then um also done some silver crown uh racing uh there's a, but uh, my buddy put this car together. He's actually the one driving the black and yellow car in the other photo. Uh, those are, if you don't know, Silver Crowns are, uh, now they're like bigger sprint cars, but uh, historically they um, they raced at Indy. Um, they were sort of the, they're sort of the successor to the front engine roadsters that ran at Indy. And uh, back in the day, you know, they ran the dirt cars also at Indy, um, they've got, you have to have the IndyCar, IndyCar style starter, uh, the, the probe goes in the front, so you have to start it that way, so you, these don't get push started, you start it that way, and they've got a clutch, uh, and you have to take off under your own power, or you get penalized, um, just very traditional historic series, and, uh, it meant a lot, we were, uh, in the last little, in the last uh, Hoosier 100 they did, and um, ran at some historic tracks. And so that's still what I do when I'm not building models, but um, building models and um, creating these videos so I can connect with you guys, it's, it's, um, it means a lot. And, um, it gets me through the winter. It relaxes me. I just love being at the bench. Um, it's definitely my happy place. I really enjoy, uh, you know, if my wife is reading or watching TV or whatever, um, I just sit at the table and build models and we just sort of hang out that way. Um, we're kind of homebodies other than going to races, you know, I like spending time at home. It's, I spend enough time out of there whenever I'm at work, working five days a week. So, yeah, this guy, this hobby, and, and you guys, um, you guys, I mean, it's, that's what it's all about. Uh, I love talking about the hobby with you guys, sharing your builds, my builds. Um, it's, uh, it's great. And, um, we, like I said, we're part-time racers, um, Maybe we'll run 10, 15 times a year at the most. Um, my driver that I help has had some health issues the past couple of years, so we haven't ran much at all. So I've really had a lot of time at the at the bench. And um, he's feeling better. He's He's got switched doctors and they figured some stuff out. So maybe we'll race some more. Uh, next year, we're getting the cars worked on now, getting some frame repairs done. And, um, you know, and, you know, occasionally I'll still go as a fan. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's my response to, uh, Paul, uh, good question, Paul, um, uh, be interesting to see what everybody else has got going on with their hobbies. Um, but, uh, uh, I think that's about it. I really only have the two hobbies at this point, um, that I spend any time at all 
doing. I mean, I have other hobbies, but those are the two that take up most of my spare time outside of work. Um, and then, you know, sometimes work gets in the way and don't have really time for anything if I'm out of state or whatever. But uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate the continued watching uh, my channel and the comments. I, I love talking to you guys, really. Like, like I said, that's what it's all about. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And if you guys uh, need a shop card or uh, need to get a hold of me, my email will be in the description. And, uh, of course, there will be a link to Paul's channel as well. So, yeah, everybody, uh, keep on building and, uh, and take care. I will see you guys again in the next video.